Alrighty guys, welcome back to ARK, where today I got some good news for you. No Untamables is finally updated, so that way we can go and tame up some Jug Bugs. Now, the Death Worms are going to still be a minute. Um, They're kind of doing like an entire rework on them. They're going to make them be, to be able to come fully out of the ground, okay? So, yeah. Um, I am going to be taming Jug Bugs today, so what I'm going to do here first, though, is we do got to wait for this guy here to finish. Um, and then I'm also hoping that his melee, the one that has 29 points there, I'm hoping that comes out at least lower 40s. At most, upper 40s, you know? But I figured we may as well search for our Jug Bugs here. And I already see a 150 on the map. And it, is it close? Okay, so it's kind of, alright, so this is definitely like the area I've been in, because I've been flying back to the base, and then I've also been up here, this is where I was knocking out this fast flow. So that makes sense that that's where all the things are spawned in. Um, should we just go do it now? Because we got the fast flow there, he's starving up, and I still want to wait another 10 minutes here on that, before I give him anything. So I'm, I am already set up for the jug bugs, I grabbed everything last time I ran back to the base. I was mostly just waiting on that fast low. But if it le legit, it's right here. If it's right here, I'm going to do it. We still have to go find a water jug bug, though. Um, You know what? Let me... No, let me... uh, Let me drop you on the tracking. We should be fine for a second. I want to check this guy's stats. He's not bad. Um, Also, as well, with creatures like the jug bug and all that... I'm not going to worry about their, uh, you know, their health and melee and stuff. I'm more worried about their uh, resource, resource production also. Ooh, there we go. This thing was extremely easy to knock out. And you know what? I can leave the tent here to protect it, and it kind of marks where it is for me. Hi, Jeroboa. You're not mine, are you? No, mine's on my shoulders. Oh, hi, another Jeroboa. They're just kind of chilling here. So, um, I don't know about our fast low. It should, hopefully, be ready to eat. Also, uh, do, 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 let's quickly do this. Because that was an oil jug bug. I didn't search for the water ones. Is there any 150 waters around? No, there's not. I might have to fly around a bit more. So, boom, let's, uh... Let's feed the fast low here real quick, just so that way I can quit worrying about them. This sh should eat a couple pieces. I had not let you starve down anywhere near enough. Oh my. Oh my. You've eaten two pieces. You need four, don't you? Let's uh, pull you up on the track, creatures. Taming in progress. Fast low. Boom. Just so that way you pop up and I can drop that. Okay. Um, let's go see how fast this jug bug tames. I don't watch it be like awake. Watch it have woken up back here. That's probably what has happened. I could, uh, no, it shouldn't have. It was in the taming progress thing there. And it's not been that fast. I highly doubt it wakes up that fast. Okay. And they eat the plant species Y seeds, by the way. That's one. All right, so he should take three. And yeah, so I guess right now what it is is a waiting game where I got to wait for my fast low and then I'll wait for this gal or this guy. Is this a girl or a guy? This guy, this oil jug bug. And then once we're done waiting for them to finish taming, uh, we're going to run back to the base. He just ate his next piece. He's going to be done here really soon. We're going to run these guys back to the base and then we'll go out and get more jug bugs. Okay, we should be getting really close here to having the fast low. Done. I got the jug bug already. Legit, I'm just waiting on this fast low. More importantly, I'm waiting on this fast low to pop out with some good melee. <coughs> Come on, man. You were right there. I think he's he's almost there. It's like almost at 800. He has to starve down quite a bit. Not quite a bit, but about 90. There we go. And that's a 39. It is... No, no, you have a, you have the wrong stats, my man. 
this is what why do you this is what's irritating about the fast low. He doesn't have the stats I need. Damn, he has a lot of health though. I'm mad. Because I really was hoping that would be the one that gave me a good melee for my breeding pair. And it was not. It was not. You can burn Vulture, and that's just because you attacked me. Okay, so I'm also back at the base. I got a plan here. What I'm going to do is we're going to drop this jug bug off, grab an extra cryopod just so that way I can carry three of them on me. And then I'm going to just go fly around the map here for a hot minute on Stella. And we're going to just kind of get jug bugs spawning in. Hopefully we get some good high level ones. Especially ones that we need. Like right now I need a female 150 for the jug bugs. And I mean your melee did not go bad. Uh, what is resource ca resource capacity? 740. That's definitely different. And then resource charge. So it's stamina. <clears throat> So it's really, sorry, it's really only what I need to focus on is oxygen and stamina on these guys, technically. So I could try and focus in on that oxygen and stamina, because that's, that's their regen and their like, cap on how much they can actually regenerate, you know? Okay, so we've been flying around here for about a half hour now, and I finally got a female 150 oil jug bug to spawn. <clears throat> now... Is it going to get one shot as soon as I load it in because there's a bunch of guys around him? No. Okay. This is actually pretty good because he is on the ground. What I'll do is I'll just do the tent trick again where we, you know, put a tent down on top of them to trap them. Look, why is there so many thorny dragons in the water? Damn. At first I thought those were, like, sarcos or capros. They're not. They're just thorny dragons. Damn. I feel like they're going to attack him. There we go. Now I got to wait for him to land. Her. Her. Sorry. I just noticed I keep on doing that. Is she flying up there to the cliff? She's gaining altitude. You know what? Maybe if she does go up on top of this, it would be better. Why are you flying just straight up? Jug bug. Okay. Alright. It's going down now. I have to land three shots is the thing. I know that on the last one, three from the bow did it. Um, I'm hoping it's the same again. Oh, don't hit space bar because that's going to light everything on you around fire. And we're not looking for scorched earth right now. Or well... We are on Scorched Earth, but we're not looking to scorch the Earth. Alright, come on, my man. Just need you to land. Or that. Oh, that was so perfect. One. Ooh. How do I hit you? Okay, okay, hold up, don't... There we go. It's knocked out. Okay, let's, uh... We don't need, actually, any berries. We have the seeds. So, um, let me pull up the water jug bugs now. It's been a hot second since I, since I pulled any of those guys up. Oh, actually, it jug. It's, it's simpler if I do that. Boom. What do we got here? We have a lot. I see one right here. Um. Let's. Let's narrow it down. Okay, hold up. There's one right here. So I got. Is that one a male or a female? It is a female. And then this one's a male. So we actually have both the jug bugs that we need. So we should be done after this. After we get those two, we should be. You know, we should be good. Um. What I will do is this. Taming in progress. Boom. We'll mark you on the map. Okay, so now you're highlighted. There. 
you should tame up. Uh, I might just wait until you're done. Because you know what? I realized I forgot one of my cryopods. So I don't have enough cryopods on me to get all of them. And I didn't put one on Stella. So I figured we'd just run over here. We're going to get this water jug bug that's over by this red ob. And hopefully it's fine. Nothing is over here attacking it. That's my main concern now is like we have them all. But what's going to happen once I get to them? Is a Rex going to spawn in and one-shot them? Or are they just going to get swarmed by Hyena Dons? What's going to go? You know, what's the worst case scenario? And there we go. That should do it, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's going to get knocked out from those two. We're just going to sit here and watch it. Oh, no, 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 he did not. Just a little short. Oh. Come on, man. There we go. I, I legit just sent two arrows straight past him into the wall. There we go. Boom. That one now back there is tamed up. So what we're going to do is quickly pull this guy up and taming on progress. He has not gained any taming in progress because he's not eaten yet. That's why. Okay. Or actually, no, it's swapped, hasn't it? Alright, I don't know. Let's go jet mode. Okay, that guy's cryoed up. Let's pick up that and give me these. Boom. Now we... Oh, that one is actually like one away. Um, Here, we'll just run back and get them. Because they're going to... Legit, by the time we get there, they're going to be done. And there's that water jug bug. What did your stats come out as? Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Okay, let's get you in the crowd pod. Um, I gotta go run both these guys back before I go after that other one there. That's just so that way, you know, I don't lose them. Also, that dismissed those. Also, this train track here that I built across the map was expensive. I mean, I've cleaned out most of the metal that I had on the island, and I haven't been bothering to make metal on the island, and I really haven't gotten to the point where I need to make massive amounts of saddles again. Because um, I'm pretty sure this week when I go fight the Manticore, which we are going to be doing this week, it's just going to be wyverns, alright? I'm going to just do only wyverns, and you know what? I might try and bring some phoenixes in. If they're able to. If they're able to. I highly doubt that they're going to be able to come in. But, yeah. I like this train track. It drained my resources, dude. And I'm just hoping that if I don't have to have, like, so much to make saddles. Because, again, we got the wyverns. I got to finish doing the poison wyverns here up. So that way we can get a poison wyvern. The rock elementals, um, I might breed. I don't know. But, yeah. It just depends on... Why can't I throw this? Weather... Got it. That's why it is currently an electrical storm. Okay, so we got them all out now. Storm's passed. So this is what this one's stat is for the water jug bugs. So what did we turn out for this? Alright, so it looks like our maximum charge there is 39 on this guy. And then his capacity is only 27. Oh! Okay, yeah, no, we're definitely breaking your stats in. You got 45 in recharge or in regen, and then your capacity. Oh, your oxygen's capacity. Oh. Okay, but still though, you got some better capacity than he. I thought you had 46 because I was looking at the food. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was looking at their food. And I thought that guy had 46 and 40. Stamina. I thought we had a pretty damn good uh, oil jug bug for a farm. And really, the only like jug bugs on Scorched Earth that we can actually farm are the oil jug bugs. That's because I can just set them up and they'll, you know, they'll produce that stuff for me. Um, unfortunately, the water jug bugs, yeah, they're kind of more or less just if you need water. So, it's like mobile, mobile transport, I guess. You can bring, I guess... Instead of, like, you know, having a Moralitops to bring 
into a place. Say you got a cave and you need to transport water in. Boom, jug bugs. And they also produce the water in there. So, but I've noticed this as well. Like, uh, say you go, want to go build in the wyvern trench cave, that new lava one. It has water in there. So, I mean, you got a source of water actively inside your base. Can I get it? Ugh. Did that get it? Oh, it did. I should explain, shouldn't I? It got it. And it always tells me whenever I get an explorer note, just because I've already done it on the island. So what I did was back on the island, I went and got all the explorer notes, and it unlocked the 10 plus for me. But now every single explorer note I've grabbed on Scorched Earth tells me, hey, you've gotten a 10 plus. <laughs> it just like notifying me. I'm just hoping it's not broken. It just keeps giving me more and more levels every time. Because that would be messed up. I don't want that to happen. And here is our jug bug. Surprisingly, no capros. Also, I remember this area like back in Scorched... In, no, yeah, no, I remember back in Scorched Earth, of course. But I remember back in Ark Survival Evolved where like, it didn't have like a river like this. Look, you can actually get in here and swim. Like, it's that deep. Also, watch, there's going to be, like, there's going to be a Sarkro or... I know Dino Sukas. Or, yeah, wait, is that right? Yeah. The big crocodator, big crocagators, those things. They, uh, they can spawn on Scorched Earth. I've seen one. It wasn't a high-level one. But I'm pretty sure they don't have Scorched variants. I mean, this one just keeps flying around. I have not even seen it land once since I showed up. I mean... Damn it, damn it, damn it. And it's going straight for a Rex. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Reload. Reload your gun. Damn it, he turned. I gotta get my bird. I th Yeah, this is like the when you decide to do it the stupid way because you get impatient. Because you just want to be done for the day. Yeah, welcome to what I have do just done. And I'm pretty sure there was another Rex out this way. Okay, I just need one arrow. There we go. He's out. He's out. I gotta go deal with that Rex now. There's a Rex right up there. Stella. Oh, Stella, Stella, Stella. Okay, let's just light him on fire. So carnivores actually get additional damage done to them by fire compared to... Uh, Herbivores, if you guys didn't know that in Ark. This guy should be done. There we go. We burnt that guy away. So, let's hope this jug bug is just ready to tame now. Ooh. Please, tame. Did you, like, fold in on yourself while I was away? I know that creatures have been having, like, problems with that. Like, they actually, like, fold in on themselves and, like, you know. It's weird. Just sitting here waiting. Just staring at him. Waiting for him to eat that last piece. I don't know how much he actually has to starve down by. I think it's going to be 40. That's usually what it is on the smaller creatures. Is 40 for them to eat. Surprised though that uh, I actually got him knocked out and he didn't run completely all the way into the desert and get eaten. I thought I messed this up completely and I was going to lose this guy, honestly. So, ooh, you got 48 in regen and then your capacity is still 36, okay. But again though, it's kind of, again, just like a smaller morale tops for you guys to bring into a cave. It fits in the cave. Also, I don't want to forget my seeds. Boom. Give me. Oh, 
All right, that's just a jug bug. But anyways, what we're going to be doing today is heading back home now. And that's actually probably going to be it for this episode. So if you guys have found yourself at any point liking this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys get notified upon me posting videos. And if you guys want to go above and beyond being a subscriber, I am currently running a YouTube channel membership goal. So that goal is we're currently trying to reach 10 members. It's currently $1.99 to join. And once we hit that goal of 10 members, we will be opening up an ARC server for you all to play on. Now, we might be doing cluster is the thing. And uh, I'm not 100% sure on how to go about that. So, anyways, this has been Gunshot Moray. Signing off. Peace.